The trust funds have kind of become the go-to place uh, when you don't want to raise revenues. Um, trust funds are essentially fees that are, go into an escrow account and are held there uh, to pay for a uh, specific outlay. Um, housing, for example, affordable housing and transportation are two of the biggest trust funds we have uh, that routinely get swept. Uh, this year, between those two trust funds, uh, it was nearly $150 million was swept out uh, at, from just those two dedicated purposes. Uh, now, what happens is when there's holes in other places in the budget, even though those monies are directly uh, in law, supposed to go to one place and one place only, uh, they get shifted around and sent other places uh, to kind of make up for lost revenue in other areas. Uh, and that's kind of the place where we're at right now in Tallahassee. Uh, no one wants to look at new revenues. Tax is a four-letter word here. Uh, and I understand that. I don't. I trust me. I don't want any more taxes. That's for sure. Uh, but at some point, when it comes to real revenue, we're going to have to take a look at that. Uh, and I think the right approach, more than anything else. Uh, isn't piecemealing. That's what we've done for a long time now. We haven't had a significant rewrite of our tax code uh, in pushing 40 years now. It's been about 38 years since it got we got started on that when Governor Askew was first in office. Uh, so moving forward and fast forwarding, we do not have a modern tax code. Uh, and that's one of the things that I think the state really needs. Uh, and that's one of the ways I think that people that are very leery, uh, people in public office uh, who don't want to be accused of raising taxes or fees, a way to actually try to help give them cover uh, politically speaking, uh, in the sense that, listen, we're going to redo everything. Some are going to go up, some are going to go down, some are going to remain the same. There might be some new stuff, some stuff might go away. Uh, but until we really do that and, and modernize our taxing structure in this state, uh, it's ramshackle. It, pe it pits a lot of different groups against one another. Small businesses against big businesses, new homeowners versus longtime homeowners, and to be quite frank, uh, the wealthy versus the poor in a lot of cases. Uh, and I don't think that's the way that Florida is. It's very hard to get back on your feet uh, when both your hands are fighting one another, and that's essentially where we are right now. Um, you have one hand not washing the other, uh, but one hand actively attacking the other, and, and that's a problem that we have, and a lot of it comes from having an antiquated tax code.